Number two this evening will be contested in the strawweight division of a three, three minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, she weighed in at 51.5 kilos and trains out of Primal MMA. Tonight she makes her MMA debut. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jessie Jones. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She weighed in at 52.0 kilos and trains out of Wolves Den. Tonight she also makes her MMA debut. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Cheryl Griffiths. Nathan Pinterbonner, new uh, referee to Eternal MMA. So I'll see you got the uh, second fight of the night, but uh, both girls very similar in age. Jesse Jones, 31. Uh, Cheryl Griffiths, 32. And uh, slight, you can tell by looking at them that the, the height and reach advantage goes to Cheryl Griffiths. So uh, by considerable margins, a very tall girl, isn't she? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh, straight away. Take her. Here we see if they can this ground game now. See how hard she's been working. That's what we. That's what we. She told us she was calling for. She wants to basically get it to the mat. Oh, nice ground. Oh wow! Nice Look at this. Early. She's got a trap there, and she goes to take the back. It's going to get taken down again, but nice defense so far by Jesse Jones. But there it is. It was always going to happen. Oh, and almost. She's in quarter mount right now. This is not a good position for Jesse to be in. So early in the fight. Absolutely. Gonna look for her to posture up now and land some ground and pound, or look for a submission, which is that arm bar, that arm sort of hanging just by her hip there. If she can grab hold of that. And what does Jesse Jones need to do to get out of this? Because she's in a world of trouble here. She needs to scramble hard right now. She needs to get that elbow to her hip, get out of there. It's very hard. She has that underarm trapped, and Cheryl's doing a very good job of trapping that so she can't turn and roll into her. Nice control early by Cheryl Griffiths. This is exactly where she wanted the fight. Absolutely. Oh, he's got there an arm go. free, and the ground and pound is coming from Cheryl Griffiths. Got to be uh, work hard not to give up her back. She has. She's grounding and pounding away on Jesse Jones at and the moment. These are hard strikes as well. She's not just tapping them in there. She's really getting into them. Nathan Pinterbonner. Not New Pinterbonner. Referee. Not Pinterbonner, as we've been told. Pinterbonner. <laughs> Pinterbonner. Referee's taking a good look, but uh, Cheryl Griffiths looking to sort of improve her position and trying to trap that right arm. She can also step over for an arm bar right now, but I think she's comfortable in that mount position and she knows she's winning, so she's going to stay there and, and look to finish it from there. As she unloads again, yeah. heavy ground and pound, nice hammer fist. She's got a minute to get it done, and she's just relentless on the ground and pound. Yeah, I'd like to see Jessie try and get those elbows under her legs and try to get out of that mount position. She can't stay there and eat these shots all night. Cheryl again, nice posture up and landing those heavy strikes. Tough again. initiation for it to eternal MMA for Jessie Jones so yeah. far, but she's got the arm trap now. Yeah, Jessie's trying to roll to her stomach, but it's going to be hard. She has that arm around the hip each time, and Cheryl's doing a great job of neutralizing that turning power. Nice work there by Jesse Jones. He's got to be able to get out of this now, I think. No. Nice uh, control there by Griffiths. Beautiful display of jiu-jitsu by Griffiths. Yeah, I thought Jesse Jones might have been able to make a move and scramble, but uh, but didn't happen. But she's got 10 seconds. I think she's going to get out of the round and a tough initiation for Jesse Jones. I don't think he's going to make it. She's... She's, she's obviously <laughs> punching away, saying, Nathan Pinter. We go round two, thanks to CMBT Sports Nutrition. Full fuel, your passion. And she's got that height and reach advantage as well, so even on the feet, so she looks pretty impressive on the feet so far. She looks to tie it up again against the cage. Put that pressure on. She's got a nice wizard on that far side. Nice underhook. Let's see if Jesse can take it down and actually disengage and move away after she takes it down, just to gain some points in the judge's eyes. She's got that nice body lock, spins her against the cage. Here's a perfect opportunity for her to throw some knees and, and take away a bit of the power from Cheryl. Throw some knees to those thighs. And the old saying, striker versus grappler matchup, this is it. Cheryl doing a great job on the feet as well, though. Yeah, it's true. 
that's where the strength of Jessie Jones is supposed to be. So let's see if she shows it. She's she's got to wear the fight where she wants to fight at the moment. Mm -hmm. But oh no, got tagged again by Griffiths, so she's looking great tonight. But I think that uh, after all that ground and pound in round one, it took it's probably obviously taken a lot out of Jessie Jones. Yeah, absolutely. As you can tell, Jessie Jones is a little tired, a little fatigued right now, but she's doing a great job. And the more this stays on the feet, the more comfortable she's going to feel. And you'll see her start to really hit a rhythm if she can keep this on the feet. She's going to get oh, nice defense. I thought she was going to get taken down again, but she, she didn't. She kept it on the feet and obviously still tied up, though. Yeah, with Cheryl's hands tied up like that around the shoulder blade, she needs to drop her hands a little bit lower and get around that hip a little bit more and that lower back, and she can really fold her in half there. Very hard to take someone down from that position with a high 50-50 position. There we see a drop down now, try to get under the butt. That's twice I thought she was going to get taken down, but uh, nice work by Jessie. Where she is now, she's definitely going to... There we go. That Beautiful is always going to happen. And the crowd, a lot of support. We heard it on the walkout. Uh, Cheryl Griffiths got a lot of support in the house tonight here at HBF Stadium. It's... Uh, Let's see what Jesse can do from here, whether she can neutralise his ground name and get up now. The only bright side for Jesse Jones at the moment is that she hasn't spent as much time on the on the back in round two that she did in round one. Cheryl trapping that arm again, going yeah. to the exact same position again. We've seen this show before. <laughs> it's almost I think it's going to happen again. Yeah, you're not looking at a replay of round one. This is live. <laughs> Cheryl looking to trap that arm now. 20, 20 seconds left in round two. If she can posture up now and ground and pound. And I put that leg back into a quarter mount again and stop them hips from turning over. Then she'll be able to posture up and really ground and pound. She'll probably go for it now because she's probably heard the 10 second warning. But uh, yeah, here we go. That's what she heard. And uh, she's going for it in the last couple of seconds and got it to us in the fight of meetings. Uh, she wanted to take this to the to the ground. And we can see why, because she's been so dominant when it's got there. So she'll, as you said, Kyle, I think that she's going to... Oh, oh she lands why? a beautiful right hand. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she wants to test her striking skills. This is a perfect opportunity to do it in the third and final round. And early on, it's like she's got great hands as well. It's a risky game to play, but she's doing well right now with it. So I encourage you to do it. Being so early in their careers as well, uh, it's good for her to get that experience on the feet and really see if she can hang it. She eats a couple of shots there. She doesn't want to do that too much more. Yeah, nice, uh, nice couple of punches there by Jesse Jones. Should be Jesse's chance to bring the fight back. Again, yeah, great platform to do it, and, and she's got to go for it here. She's got no choice. Absolutely, she needs to throw something out there. A big hail mary. So we see but Cheryl that's what close she's the scared distance. of. Absolutely, that's Cheryl's doing a great job of it as well. She's setting it up, using the hands to set it up, distract her, and then shooting in to close that distance. And I don't think that, I think that's why she's not throwing her hands. She was worried about the takedown because of what happened in rounds one and two. Yes. She goes for a hip toss. Beautiful. Nice. Back on top again, this time inside the guard. See if she passes guard or chooses to stay there and ground and pound like she has been doing. Like it's been working pounding, for her yes. so far, so I think we. Again, going to see more of the same show. But again, I think she's going to go for a finish in the final minute and a half. I'd love to see her implement that jiu-jitsu game. Like, she's doing a phenomenal job of ground and pound, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if she stays in this position for the rest of the fight. But I'd love to see her pass. she had the opportunity pass. to get the arm bar in, uh, in round one. So do you think she might go for something like a, a submission of some kind uh, in the, to try and get the finish? Oh, I'd love to see her do it. You know, it's, I think it's there for her every time. She's, but I think she's so intent on finishing this fight by strike. So be interesting to see how she handles this last round. A minute left to work, and you, can, you sort of sense that Jesse Jones can't get out of this. No, it'd be interesting to see if, if Cheryl actually tries and pass this guard as well, or just stays here. No, she's, you see doing, Hail Mary, yeah. maybe throw up a submission of some kind, but uh, from the bottom. But, and, uh, and that's the danger of being in someone's guard as well, there's always that opportunity. And it's, it's hard to get that strike, as you see, Jesse pulling her down each time, wrapping their arms up, wrapping their head up. It takes away her power where Cheryl can't posture up and, and land that heavy ground and pound. And there we go. We oh. see her posture up each time. That one just winging past her ears. You wait to hear a reaction of the 10-second warning and she's just going to explode. 
Jazzy got a nice high guard. She's trapping that arm each time. She can use that hip momentum and swing her hips out to the side. She might be able to look for a submission here. She's shown a lot of heart because she took a lot of punishment in round one, especially uh, in the last minute of round two. But there's the there's the clapper. And uh, there you go. There's the punches thrown that we're expecting in the final few seconds. And so ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the bout. 30 to 27, 30 to 26, and 30 to 26. All for your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner, Cheryl Griffiths.